Hi folks, Max from Galaxy Note 3, Root.com for this week's round of the week for the Verizon Galaxy Note 3. Check out the latest version of HyperDrive ROM. Last time we looked at it, it was quite a long time ago. Um, I haven't actually looked at it till now. Uh, ROM developer Scott Brain 94 has been making some excellent ROMs, and uh, I was really surprised um, when I installed this because uh, he's gotten really good. Um, the, the latest version is based on uh, Android 4.3. And I really like it. It is super fast. I was using Eclipse ROM for a while. Um, it is much faster than that. Um, and uh, it's just near flawless. Uh, let me go ahead and show you some of the stuff. Uh, first of all, HyperDrive ROM, I like it because it just comes in one zip file. Um, I actually don't like Aroma, Aroma Installer that much. Um, some people love it. I don't really like it because a lot of times Aroma ins Installer, sometimes it can break your phone if there's way too many options. and. Um, that's what I have to deal with and I have to reinstall the ROM um, but I really like it because everything you can customize within this ROM let me point out some of the cool stuff here uh, I've got the network traffic meter I've got a custom uh, battery icon there I've got a power button here um, you can go ahead and uh, turn your screen off also if you hold it down um, it acts as a power button so you can customize also your power menus here uh, which is very very nice let me go ahead and show you how to do all that uh, first of all hyperdrive rom is super fast i mean it, there's like absolutely no lag whatsoever i'm just switching between apps um it is just so much faster than anything i've ever tried and uh, it might be an under uh, it might be you know it might be the best rom uh, best touch with rom right now for the verizon uh, galaxy note 3. um and also this phone is my daily driver for those of you wondering because uh, I still have grandfather 4 GLT with a Verizon from like long time ago and um, that's why I use it and you know I can be on 4 GLT uh, just use a ton of data without worrying about it uh, if you end up using this ROM um, don't forget to get the pro version um, I'm gonna get it in a second uh, so don't worry and uh, let me go ahead and show you the hyperdrive note 3 um, you know this is this is awesome because he's offering all of this stuff uh, without making you pay for it I mean it is is a full uh, full you know fully capable uh, it's full launch sorry I got up too early <laughs> it's it's just awesome it is it's just got everything you want you want um, all right let's go over some of the stuff touch with launcher settings wallpaper scrolling infinite um, uh, scroll so you can go keep going all the way um, so that's nice and let's go ahead and take a look at some of the other options this re I really like you can uh, change it from Google now to my magazine um, the home swipe up target oops what happened there we go um, so you can get Google now like that uh, I really like that option I hate I hate uh, my magazine and also you can disable double double home press my magazine I just want to get rid of that <laughs> Uh, but NFC mods, you can have NFC working in your lock screen with screen off also if you want to. Um, some additional options here. Uh, auto call recording. Yes, this phone, uh, this ROM does have call recording. Um, you can have it set to auto recording uh, for incoming, outgoing. Maybe perhaps you uh, run your own business. That could be a great way to record customer information uh, if you're on the phone often. Extended power menu toggles. Now, this ROM does come with none of these um, ticks, so make sure you run this once and tick off all the stuff you need and that's what I was showing you with the power menus um, nice simple and nice network traffic if you need it go ahead and enable that you can change the traffic color if you want to clock style uh, AM PM style you can move it you know you can center the clock if you want to um, weekday if you want a small weekday a regular weekday um, small weekday there we go um, and also custom notification panel drop down you can set your custom image Carrier, carrier label, uh, CPU load widget. This thing is really fun. When I was running um, right here, um, you can actually see how much CPU is running on each of the CPU. I find this really, uh, really good stuff. You know, really good feature uh, because you know I was using titanium backup and it was all at 100%. And I was wondering why is it? You know, because I forgot I had turned on a titanium backup app. And then I realized, oh. The titanium backup app is taking up all the CPU power, but kind of fun to have, you know, uh, if you play games or if you run apps and sometimes, you know, 
uh, you want to see how much CPU power is going. Um, status bar, all these customizations, you can do hide uh, the icons if you want. Soft keys, um, you can enable soft keys if you want here. And on screen controls, enable buttons. And it will reboot automatically. Um, so I'm going to actually deny it right now because I don't want to reboot because I'm doing this video. Uh, battery style, this is where you can change um, the different battery style. Uh, the one I chose is the Android one down here. A ton of stuff you can do with the battery. Uh, MUI battery options, colors, you can change pretty much every color and on your status bar. A notification panel, uh, all that good stuff. This is just awesome. Uh, Pi controls, if you want Pi controls, so this is actually LMT Pi control. Um, integrate it right into hyperdrive, <laughs> hyperdrive ROM control. Um, also for lock screen, you can get AOSP lock screen if you want. Uh, I prefer the the light, um, the regular one, uh, and also the ripple effect. And you can get uh, torch. Um, go ahead and hold down volume up while your screen's off. It is on. If you want to turn it off, volume down. Very very simple. I love that. Uh, some more music controls you can do while you're screen is off. If you want to add um, additional apps that's not supported uh, by default for your S Pen window or multi-window manage uh, multi-windows, you can use these two apps here, S Pen Window Manager, multi-window manager, um, GPS fix, uh, GPS should be working out of the box. Expose modules, um, go ahead and make sure you inst uh, hit install update. Make sure you hit grant and then go to the modules. And these are all the modules that come with Expose App Settings. You can go ahead and change all the DPI of every app, uh, font scale, all that good stuff. I have a full tutorial guide on that. If you want uh, Expose Recent Task RAM Bar, you can go ahead and enable that. I'm actually not sure what these are. Um, I haven't tried these, but you can go ahead and try them. Make sure you reboot after you pick them, otherwise, it won't work. Also, some additional stuff you can do to um, optimize the performance on your phone and some of these you might want to kind of go and read into it or you know if you're an advanced user this could be something you could tweak with but I don't recommend it for noobs out there uh, all of this stuff and also you can reboot into recovery here also uh, package manager and also you've got the CPU here uh, where you can uh, under clock if you want to get some good battery life you can actually manually under clock it to like one gigahertz your phone will run slow but uh, you'll have better battery life let me put it back oops there we go um, also if you use uh, if you install a custom kernel you should be able to overclock even more to 2.4 um, 2.5 gigahertz um, so very good stuff uh, I really like it it's got a ton of stuff and it even comes with hyperdrive hub um, you can download keyboard skins um, so you can have a different keyboard fonts icons more add-ons uh, overall I really like it I really like the speed of it I even you know since this is my daily driver I even loaded all of my apps as you can see here these are all the apps I use actually um, I try to not use too many because you know also I forgot to mention it does have pop-up browser uh, Viper for Android. It's got just pretty much everything you want uh, on the TouchWiz ROM, but it is super fast. I mean, just switching between apps is really quick, as you can see here. I mean, just try it for yourself. Um, again, this is my daily driver. I love it. I'm going to probably uh, hold on to this ROM for, for quite a while now, but um, for the next couple weeks at least. Uh, but I really like it. Don't forget to donate to the developer of this ROM, Scott Breen, uh, sbreen 94 XDA user. Uh, I think this is his best work so far. I've been following him on Node 2, um, S4, you name it, but this is his best work so far, I think. So kudos uh, to Scott. Great, great ROM. And uh, yeah, you guys, if you have uh, Verizon Galaxy Note 3 and you haven't tried this ROM, definitely try it out for this week's ROM of the week and do let me know what you think, but I think you will love it. Uh, awesome, awesome ROM. Anyway, I'll see you guys soon. Also, I forgot to show you some wallpapers. You can get uh, hyperdrive wallpapers for those of you into wallpapers. There's a ton of wallpapers, or 16 wallpapers. Um, so check it out. I'll see you guys soon. Stay high on Android. Yeah. Uh.